Hey darling, welcome to my channel. My name is Gianni Sanders and I'm an infidelity recovery specialist. I help women heal from infidelity so they can love themselves and gain self-confidence again. And I use law of attraction techniques. If this interests you, make sure you stay tuned. So in this video, I want to um, say an important thing that we hardly ever think about and it's that your soulmate, your husband, is attracted to your soul and that is so deep the first time I heard that. I heard that from my, one of my first coaches, Sammy Wonder, where we feel like we have to be a certain way for our husbands to love us, right? I just posted a video about, about this. I'm going to link it up here. But we want to change after they've cheated, right? Because we feel like, oh, we're not enough. So I have to be something else in order to please him. And so we make sure that we change all things about ourselves so that he's happy, so that we keep him faithful or whatever. And what we don't realize is that our soulmates are attracted to our souls. They're attracted to the most real, genuine, expressive versions of ourselves. And oftentimes we don't feel safe enough in the world to reveal who we really are. And this has happened not af just after the infidelity, but all along in your relationship, if you've even gotten to the point of infidelity, because your relationship has deteriorated. And so the way that you actually express who you are and to be genuine is subtly, right? Like you actually say what you mean and you mean what you say in a moment. You don't say what you think he wants to hear, what, what you think will make him more attracted to you. The most attractive woman is the one who just owns who she is and who can say it gracefully and beautifully. The woman who says no when she means no and she says yes when she means yes and she can say how she feels about a situation. She can state her boundaries easily without causing drama, emotional stability. And so I want to urge you, if you feel like you have to change who you are in order to feel love, in order to receive love, is to heal this wound and decide that you are enough, decide that you are accepted for exactly who you are. I had trouble with this because I grew up in an environment where I had to follow certain rules in order to receive love. I had to um, be a certain way in order for my parents to accept me. And so I always felt like that in my relationship. And so since then, it's been a journey for me to truly find out who I am, decide who I want to be, but also embody that in a way that feels genuine and honest. And there's been lots of um, trial and error with that. But I want to challenge you to decide that you get to be exactly who you are and that is enough to be loved. And that is exactly the version of you that gets loved because whoever you're pretending to be isn't the one who chose this person. And so you truly have to be all that you were put on this earth to be in order to really feel fulfilled and really feel loved in life. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you comment below, like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.